Well, he's photographed more than 8,000 fur kids since quitting his job as a software engineer and embarking on a career playing with pets for a living. Ken Drake's unique style of animal portraits has seen him notch up more than 100 photography awards. Yeah, the Brisbane-based photographer has also captured all creatures great and small oh. for charity. Now he's shining the spotlight on man's best friend with his brand new book. It's called Portraits. See that? Portraits, Larry. Very clever. Ken Drake joins us now alongside some of his uh, favourite fur subjects. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you. It's lovely to, to see here. you. Now, you worked as a, uh, software at a software company for 10 years deciding, right. dis, before deciding to go on and work with animals. Was it sort of a light bulb moment or was it a... I, I've been working for 10 years and travelling a lot and I just needed some time off. And uh, because I'd stopped travelling, I could get some cats. So I got a couple of cats. Right. And I got a, a digital camera at the same time and I just started photographing the cats. And uh, I just very quickly got hooked on capturing their personalities in the photos. Yes. And uh, that, uh, that, that was in London. shots. Oh, thank you. Because yeah. they all have personalities, don't they? Can we look at this snap of... This is Sonic the bearded collie. I'm going to have a look at this. It's picked up plenty of awards. It's on the, it's on the cover as well. How, how long did it take you to nail this picture? It didn't actually take too long to get it. I was really surprised. I thought it <laughs> might, might, I was worried about getting all that hair in front of his eyes. Yeah. And uh, you need to be able to see their eyes to, to get the personality. And uh, But um, all that hair was just flying out of the way of his eyes. So uh, we got the shot pretty quick and uh, he made a real mess in the studio. Though. <laughs> yeah. So listen, you're talking a lot about personality. Um, yeah. how, how how do, you, how do you go about bringing out the personality for those photos? I spend time before I even pick up the camera just getting to know the animal and just judging them and, and finding out what they're all about as an animal. And, right. uh, and we, we, uh, Before I have uh, anyone in the studio, I've, we've done our research on them so we know a bit about them. We talk to their mums and dads and found out what they love to do. And then it's just a question of me finding ways of drawing that personality out of them. And, yeah. uh, Look at that bunch of French. Any doggy diva moments? <laughs> yeah, plenty of those. Um, we had a, a gorgeous boy as a Saluki in quite recently, and yeah. uh, I had this idea for a photo that I wanted to show off his beautiful flowing coat, um, but uh, he chased the ball once and then he wouldn't run for me again, so he couldn't do that. So uh, he just kind of laid down on the floor, looked at me and gave me that look saying, no, I'm not doing this game for you. Uh, he put his uh, paw down. <laughs> he's, he's, he most certainly did, yeah. yeah. These adorable little guys are from the RSPCA. This is Claude. Um, tell us about your charity work. Uh, look, we, uh, we love giving back. Uh, my own boy, uh, Bolo, is a Roddy Cross Shepherd. He came from the RSPCA. So we uh, love to help them out and help them raise money. We just finished doing Santa Paws up in Brisbane and uh, we photographed well over a thousand Santa dogs. Paws. Yeah. A thousand dogs? Well oh over my. a thousand dogs over a couple of days and uh, lots great. of families with their dogs. Yeah. Nice yeah. front of centre sitting there with Santa. And we do, each year we do a number of calendars for charity and uh, we help them sell the calendars for, for profit for the charity. And uh, yes. last year we raised about $86,000 various wow. charities around. Okay, Brooklyn. you need to give me some tips because I have a little dog called Peppy. He's a Frenchie. Yeah. I th uh, the producers of... Yeah, oh, well, this was just last <laughs> night, actually. Not impressed. He's not looking very impressed there, is he? No. <laughs> we, okay. It kind of makes the, makes the shot for me, I think, really, when he's just kind of looking <laughs> down there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Any, I need some pointers, though. Any, okay. Oh, that one's a bit close to the camera, yeah, right? That one is a bit close, that one you're looking at, so the pup needed to be a little bit further away so we could get in focus. But, uh, oh, dear. What are you, are you giving tips as well? <laughs> but um, um, also, Pepe looked like he was moving quite fast there as well. And, uh, oh, I think well, that's was, a mistake. He never oh. moves anywhere fast. <laughs> So if you're using, I mean, most people get photos on their iPhones these days, so you yeah. need to make sure you've got plenty of light about, because iPhones aren't very good in dark environments, so especially when you're photographing an animal that's going to move. So make sure there's lots and lots of light around. Maybe sit near a window or out on your deck and get some photos. Here we've got some tips. So here, control the light. Here's what not to do and what to do. Oh, that's my boy. Okay, beautiful. And then yeah. our next tip is number two. We'll move, get, get close. Mm. Get close. I, I see a lot of people's photos and you just see a little dot in the centre of the screen and it's the mm. puppy. Yeah. And uh, you want to get in nice and close to, the, to, to your subject so you can fill the frame with their face and that's right. what people want to see. And you want to remove the, the distractions too. Right? That's right. You see a lot of other photos and, uh, you know, especially when they're taken in the home and you see, you know, maybe the vacuum cleaner sitting out there, a pair of shoes, you know, cushions lying all over the floor and it looks really, really messy. So right. if you want to get nice photos, you want to make sure it's got a nice oh, clean background. Okay. So, so that, just, was a, that was their what to do on the left and what not to do. 
to do on the right. You could see all the washing in the background and everything, okay. right? <laughs> Mix up the angles, That's you say. Right. That, yeah, the other thing I see a lot with people's photos is that people are standing up and looking down at their pets. So every single photo they show has got their pet just looking up. And that can look really, really cute in the photo. Mm. But I think it's really nice to get down on the same level as them. And uh, then you can get straight into those eyes and uh, okay. you, you get to get more of their personality that way as well. So maybe sit them up on the couch and sit down on the floor and get the photo so your, your face, your camera's at the same level as their, right. their eyes. And, and you want to banish the blur as well. Yeah, so that's what I was saying before about getting plenty of light. And especially with uh, smartphone cameras, you do need lots and lots of light for them. Yeah. So, uh, as I said, just you know, sit near a nice bright window where there's uh, some good light coming in or even out on the deck <laughs> or out in the front yard. And, uh, and show their best angle. <laughs> show their best <laughs> angle. Well, I've taken Tell plenty of doggy girl. butt shots. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, they're really beautiful uh, photos and thank you for all the oh, tips. Plenty of people want to get those uh, shots right. Appreciate your time. No worries. Thank you, Ken. Portraits by Ken Drake is available now at all good stores. You won't that forget cover. that cover. Uh, <laughs> and if you'd like to give our furry friends here from the RSPCA a forever home, you can head to adoptapet.com.au for more information. Head to our website.